What's up, guys? It's your boy Zawolki back up with another crime video. And somebody had posted this to my messenger stating I needed to watch this. Now, I've seen the title, which it reads Victim Suspect Found Dead After Apparent Quadruple Murder for Self Deletion at Yukon Home. So, with me looking into the crime and obviously being very dear to children, I wanted to look into this. So before we go any further, if you guys could do me a solid favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one. You guys look at that little ring notification that I posted that video. Then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And with that being said, I'm a little afraid to hear what happened, but let's get into it. Well, Abby, police tell us they got a call to this neighborhood near Southwest 29th Street and South Check Hall Road from a 10-year-old boy. That 10 year old boy turned out to be Lindsay and Jonathan Candy's son and he called because he woke up and found them and his three brothers dead inside their home. It's unclear what made him want to go through the home killing the children, but make no mistake about it. What happened in that residence was nothing short of a massacre. Oklahoma City Police confirming Tuesday Why? Jonathan Candy shot and killed his wife Lindsay Candy and their sons Dylan, Ethan, and Lucas before killing himself at some point overnight Sunday into Monday. The husband and father in the home, Jonathan Candy, became involved in an altercation with his wife Lindsay. At some point he armed himself with a gun. He shot her multiple times, killing her. For Police what? revealing after Candy shot and killed his wife, he went around the rest of the house and hunted down three of his four sons. He systematically went through the home, shooting and killing their children. And at least one of them was shot in the bed. Police say they don't know why a 10 year old son was not hurt. We don't know why he was left unharmed. In the end, nobody's ever going to know the answer to that. The child was placed with relatives. Police spent much of Monday interviewing neighbors, friends, and family, and getting a warrant to search the home. Today, they still have a lot of questions unanswered, but their biggest is why. We have no calls to that residence uh, regarding any type of domestic abuse. We have no history from them in our system showing any type this? of domestic problems being reported to us. So that's something that we're going to talk to friends and family and see if they may know something. Coming up at five, a neighbor told me about his time with the family and the shooter in this case, calling him a family man. In Yukon, Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News. Oh my gosh. Like, what is going on? Like, what is making these, like, there's no calls. There's no domestic abuse. There's no issues that are going on. They're, and just, out of nowhere. Completely annihilation. Massacre. He, and then this for this ten-year-old boy to sit there and find his whole family gone now. Wow. I didn't even hear about this. Like why? Like I hear more news broadcastings on TikTok. That's probably why TikTok is being banned. It's because t TikTok gets us more information than some of these news broadcastings. There are school shootings that we've heard on TikTok that were never put on news broadcastings or took hours to be put on news broadcasting. But TikTok people were able to do it like that. I don't know much of When did this po video get posted? Two days ago. Let me look up this information. So this happened Monday morning at 9.35 a.m. Oakland City Police received a call from a 10-year-old boy that every side in his or everyone inside his home was d deceased. The home is a Ches Hall estate. Is that Czech? Czech Hall estate? Ches Hall neighborhood southwest 29th Street. Um, when officers arrived, they found five deceased people inside, which was himself, the mother, and the three boys, besides that one that li that lived. According to the news release, investigators believed the deceased suspect, 42-year-old Jonathan Candy, shot and killed four victims before turning the gun on himself. The Oklahoma City Department identified four of these victims, 39-year-old Lindsay, 18-year-old Dylan, 14-year-old Ethan, 
and 12 year old Lucas. And then they had a 10 year old that survived. Master Sergeant Gary Knight was with Oklahoma City Police Department and Jonathan Candy was involved in the altercation with his wife sometime during the overnight or overnight hours and shot her multiple times, killing her. The 42-year-old man went through the house shooting and killing their children systematically. That means he calculated this. The victim's body were found in multiple areas of the house with police finding two bodies upstairs and two others downstairs. Knight called the scene a massacre. The 10-year-old called 911 was unharmed and released to family members at the scene. According to police, author authorities said the child woke up and found what happened. But why was he spared? I'm glad he was spared, but why? Authorities said it's still unknown what caused Jonathan uh, Candy to murder his wife and three children. Police said that they were unseen if they were shooting or if the shooting was planned or spontaneous. But why spontaneous? Like, it, you can't just tell me you snap and you wake up. You're like, yep, I'm going to murder my whole family. Anyone with information about the case is asked to call this number for the homicide tip line at this number. You guys can see right here. So if you guys have any information and you're in this area. But what the heck is going on? If you feel that you are a father a mother and you are just can't live on or can't find a hope. Just know that there are people out there that love you. There are people that can help you. There are, it is not okay to self delete or to take out your family at all. It's not okay to do any of that. I'll definitely post the victim hotline, um, the self deleting and cr crisis hotline below so if you guys ever need somebody i mean i've told people before if they need somebody to talk to i'm willing to talk to anybody um because people need somebody in their life and it's important to have everybody here so don't think that you're not important i'm getting emotional because this 10 year old boy lost his family now and there are three other children that are had again the world ahead of them yes the world is not a nice place there are unfortunate things that happen but it's not okay for this to happen oh man it's like you're just tired of seeing school shootings and things like this and it's just like can't we just be happy and enjoy life i mean yes again world is not unicorns glitter confetti and cake and cupcake it's not good like, there are parts of the world that are utterly, disgustingly atrocious. But if we all can strive together and try to be helpful and loving and caring, this world would be a lot better off. I'm not trying to sound like a pageant queen and, I just want world peace. Like, like you can't tell me that people wake up and just, well, I can't say that because there are people that wake up and just don't care about anybody but themselves and love to destroy people's feelings and, and destroy families and friends. And, and unfortunately this happens. So, um, please let me know if you guys are in this area and you heard about this, if you guys ever feel down or upset, the community of Zawoki has you. We have so many amazing, beautiful people here and just amazing emotions and so forth. So talk to somebody and comment. I guarantee one of us, if not myself, will talk to you. Um, so with that being said, please take care. Be safe. Um, keep nerding on. Love your friends, your family, your neighbors, whatever have you. Because you, again, never know when life gets cut too short. We'll see you guys in the next one. And keep nerding on as always. Peace.